what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here you are you guys already saw the thumbnail i'm gonna get into it right away jeebus creepers 3 is trash and here's why off the bat the narrative the narrative takes place in between the first and second film more specifically immediately after the first movie uh it follows a, a group of officers now teaming up with sergeant tubbs who's returning from the last movie again portrayed by brandon smith uh, he teams up with Sergeant Tashtigo and some of his people and they're looking to take the creeper out. Meanwhile, Meg Foster, who is the father of Kenny Brandon, the, the, the man who uh, Derry found at the bottom of that church in the first movie, Kenny and Darla, the missing prom king and queen who went missing all those years ago, 23 years ago, uh, found out they were victims of the creeper because Derry found their, found their corpses in the basement of the church in the first movie. Now over here, uh, with this movie, the issue, like I was saying, the issue here with the narrative is the fact that it's shoehorning plot devices that contradict and make everything in the first movie, the motivations of the character of the Creeper, make his motivations questionable, makes his character look stupid. Um, and then going, going back to what was originally supposed to happen, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but the movie was supposed to be set 23 years after the first two films. Jeepers Creepers 3 was called Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. There was a script. It had Jack Taggart, the father from the second movie who lost his son to the Creeper. He helped those kids on the bus. He was supposed to come back. He was going to team up with Trish Jenner, the sister from the first movie who lost her brother. They were going to team up. They were going to take out the Creeper once and for all and put an end to it. It was going to be set in 2023. It was going to pick up immediately where the second film left off in the barn with Taggart waiting for the creeper to wake up on that bat out of bat out of hell display that he had him posted up on. We didn't get that for whatever reason. I'm assuming it was for budget reasons because this movie was very low budget. But then against against that. Despite the fact that the movie had a low budget. I really f feel that there was enough time to at least rewrite a script to fit into a 23 years later scenario still because one of the other reasons why is because Jeepers Creepers 3 because the usual script did leak online so I get that was a part of the reasoning but to write the whole script over and then now no longer have it said 23 years later that seems a bit um, a bit too much I f firmly believe that they could have done something they could have done something that was still set 23 years later uh, maybe you could have left some question marks in regards to, okay, well, how did the creeper escape the barn? The, the, the movie itself could have started in a barn, maybe with showing us people dead or something of that sort of effect. Something could have been done here to still have the movie set 23 years later instead of having it in, in between the first and second movie. Because now the truck is back, uh, go, getting onto the truck. Oh my gosh, and this is just one of the many issues with the film. The truck has a mind of its own now. It has all of these traps in it that were not present in the first movie. And it's like, if you're gonna have a narrative that's so tightly connected to the original film, you can't add all of these plot points in here that were no longer present. And I'm not, when I say you can't, I'm not saying that you necessarily cannot add things. I'm specifically saying from a creative standpoint, why are you going from, something so small to something now having so much it's just a little bit too fast the truck is shooting things out of the exhaust pipe there's cages that drop down there's motion sensors it has a mind of its own it moves on its own it's just all too much for something that's supposed to be set directly after a movie that came before it uh and the creeper the creeper is looking for this hand that holds its origins now the reason that is an issue is because the creeper finds this hand at the end of the movie. No issue finding it. He just had to get to it. Uh, my thing is the creeper didn't have anyone after him until this ish this incident with Derry. Everyone was after him because of what happened with Derry. Now, in the third movie, he's looking for this hand. The issue. Why in the first movie is he not looking for this hand? That's, what, that's just one of the things I'm talking about. The reason he's not looking for the hand in the first movie, I know why he's not looking for it. He's not looking for it because this was never the intent. This was never, a, this was not the plan from the beginning. These are not plot points that were always lined up and will, and ready to go to be a part of this narrative that we're telling here or be, or be part of the mythos of the character. So by adding that, you're now making his character's motivations in the first movie look a bit contradicting. And that raises a question as to why he spent time chasing Trisha and Derry after he burnt down the church and got rid of all that evidence. 
rather than going after that hand when no one was after him he decides to still go after trisha and dairy so i just i don't understand i don't understand that at all i don't i don't understand that so i just hate when you have a movie written that's trying to force in a plot device that clearly wasn't a factor in the other two movies so now it's going to create issues in regards to continuity and logic and character motivation because another thing that is an issue in Jeepers Creepers 3, let me just talk about the technical stuff real quick. The production is terrible. The visual effects are terrible. Uh, it, they look very, it's, it's just not the best. They, I understand that it was low budget, but you, there's ways to work with what you're given. And the fact that this movie was set entirely in the daylight, I think was one of the biggest issues with the movie. Because the opening is set in the dark and the creeper looks amazing. He looks amazing for such a low budget even when i look even when if you grab a copy of the blu-ray dvd or the dvd that came out for jeepers creepers 3 look at the opening the opening shows some signs of promise for this straight dvd uh movie that's a sequel to the first movie uh but then they position the rest of it in the daylight and that's just not uh, granted this is the best cinematography in the series but the daylight kind of worked against them because now you're seeing where all the failures lie uh, you can see that the visual effects are not the best. You can see that the CGI isn't all that great. Uh, you're positioning a character like the Creeper who's supposed to be mysterious and cloaked in shadows like he was in the second in the first film to keep that mysterious aura about him. Uh, you got him positioned to be up front and center now. He's not really... It really comes down to the effects. The effects in this movie were just terrible. They were piss poor. Um... Uh, and going back to another thing, going, getting back to the writing. Anyone who is fans of this series, you know that the Creeper comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days. In the first movie, we have evidence or somewhat logic for as to why someone knows. There's a psychic in the area. She has a vision. She's a psychic. That's established. So she had a vision about the Creeper. She also had a vision apparently about his mythos and his lore and knows that he comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days. Uh my issue is this movie there's people who know about his lore it's never explained how they say they encountered him 23 years ago so here's here's the issue with that encountering something does not give you access to its mythos if i get attacked by a bear i am not going to now know when that bear eats and sleeps these people were aware of the fact that the creeper comes out every 23rd every 23 years for 23 days or at least the fact that he comes out every 23 something the fact that they knew that he comes out every 23 something or they weren't aware, they should have just been aware that he's around there is no reason for them to know that he has anything to do with the number 23 and that anything whatsoever with their cycle with his cycle should not have been something that they knew of it was never established anything in regards to how they knew that all they said was that they encountered it having encounters with things do not grant you access to their mythos so again i asked how did they know that this creeper or this entity operated on a cycle like that? In the first movie, we have some evidence and logic and reasoning for as to why someone knew about this. In the third film, it's just a a quote that everyone is throwing around just to have the num just to have that phrase in oh every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat this that and the other. But it's never explained how these people know. We're left to assume now that they have access to his mythos simply because they had an experience with it. What is the point of that? I don't understand that. And how does that make any sense whatsoever? The acting is just so bad. The acting is terrible. The visual effects are terrible. The narrative is just so sloppy. It's, it's like... It's not even the fact that it was set in between. I was upset about that. They could have still made it work. They didn't have to talk about a hand. They didn't have to bring up uh, all this other stuff that was just added in that was not present in the original film. If you're going to have it set after the original film, it could have taken place in that night. That whole entire night, could have. it could have been the rest of that night just leading just the cops following and chasing the creeper as he is taking out other people and maybe we get introduced to another group of people who become trapped by him and the cops are trying to find him and it just keeps going into that morning but it's taking place on the same night as the first movie that's something that easily could have been done they do not do that here they tease you about origins and lore stuff you don't find out but the characters do they don't talk about it it's just the whole movie is a complete mess visually it's terrible the effects are bad uh, the acting is terrible. The writing is terrible. 
it's just not a good movie it's just not from a technical standpoint and just an overall watch value and everything that goes into filmmaking there are some the pro, there are some good qualities here to it like the fact jonathan breck the performance he gives as the creeper again another one out of the, another good performance as the creeper he does have his mannerisms and he makes the creeper creepy with, for what he with what he can but there's no reason for me to be scared now because i'm seeing him up close he's in the daylight i'm it's just not it didn't have a mood to it there was nothing there i feel like by adding the creeper and putting him in so much daylight that kind of takes away the the terror that he's supposed to invoke when i watch the first and the second movie still i feel some sort of terror when he finally is on screen because they keep him in the shadows they they show him in the daylight in the first movie but never to a degree where it's so blatant that you see his face you see his skin you see all of these features there's no they're not there's no mystery here to him jeepers creepers 3 just says oh here's the creeper you guys know him yeah we know him but can you keep that same mystique let him retain his mystique uh one redeeming factor the appearance by gina phillips at the end of the movie uh i don't think we're ever gonna get a fourth movie i really don't they, they they set up a fourth movie at the end of this i don't think we're ever gonna get it victor salva's past is plaguing this series i don't know if we're ever gonna see anything from it i've done updates on this at on ad nauseum i i hope we do someday i hope it's by another director different production company different everything i hope someone sees that this there is a profit to be made from this character i hope someone really does someone please wrap the series up in a nice bow so that the fans of it can feel that they got what they wanted and they can get a real Jeepers Creepers 3. Of course, that one will have to be titled Jeepers Creepers 4. But even if Jeepers Creepers 4 happens, many fans are going to consider that one the real Jeepers Creepers 3. And they're going to skip the third movie because the narrative of Jeepers Creepers 3 is just so bad. Everything that went into it is just bad. Um, like I said before, the cinematography is one of the redeeming qualities. And two or three good performances the and the whatever that score was the score was just the score was okay i on a scale of one to ten honestly give the movie a 4.5 out of 10 it is just so bad it's not it's one of those movies where i'm not saying that you can't like this movie but even if you like it you have to be able to recognize good and bad filmmaking this is an example of bad filmmaking those are all the reasons why Jeepers Creepers sucks. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. In the comment section, please, guys, let me know what else is wrong with Jeepers Creepers 3 because I can't be the only one that thinks this movie sucks. It ultimately does suck. And if you don't think it sucks, you need to be able to explain to other people why because it seems that the people who say it sucks they have the advantage here because they're taking evidence from the film like i keep telling people if you have an opinion on the film you need to be able to articulate that so if you think this movie is good tell us why in the comment section and be able to back it up with evidence from the film outside of just saying oh you like this and you like that though that's all i have to say on the topic of jeepers creepers 3 and why it sucks uh I will see you guys for the next video. You can message me on all my social media applications to let me know if there's any movie news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future.